Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on the new Rare Beauty Always an Optimist powder. I'm gonna be showing you guys how this applies on top of my under eyes, um, also all over the face as a setting powder, some flash photos, a just full blown wear test. If you've been curious about the new Rare Beauty Always an Optimist soft rating setting powder, then please continue watching because you are going to see whether this is worth a buy or not. I already went ahead and finished a good amount of my makeup. Obviously, I needed to wait to do my under eyes because you guys do know that I do love setting my under eyes with powder because if not, they will crease. That's kind of what I use more so loose powder for. And this new Rare Beauty powder is a loose powder. It's a setting powder, but it's loose. This powder I did purchase from Sephora. You guys know that Sephora does sell Rare Beauty. You can also purchase this on Rare Beauty's website. So this does retail for $22. And this product, you do get 0.33 ounces which is pretty standard for a powder. This does come in five shades. I did pick this up in the shade light just because I do like more so brightening, but light medium could also work as well. That's another shade that I feel like I would fall under category wise for my skin tone. I will have my shade references down below in my description box, something I always like to do for you guys so that you guys can kind of see if you are around my complexion. Um, so basically this is a loose powder formula. It's light coverage. It's best for oily combo and normal skin. It's vegan, it's a natural finish without the parabens. Um, this is a silky, do-it-all, towel-free loose setting powder to visibly smooth, blur, and control shine for a soft, natural finish and all-day comfort. The one thing that stood out to me a lot, because I feel like a lot of people lately have been all about the towel-free products, which I totally understand, is that this is towel-free. Um, Previous years, I feel like a lot of powders did contain a lot of talc and all that stuff. So if you are somebody that really does not want talc, then this is something that you may want to look into if it does work. So let's go ahead and open this. You guys know packaging is just very rare beauty appropriate. You guys can see it right there. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer. So I'm going to be using my Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Concealer. I have been obsessed with this concealer. It's so hydrating but it gives you really great coverage which i love um and this is in the shade c13 i also have been having a little bit of dryness which i mentioned on my under eyes so it's nice to have something like this so i'm just gonna go in with the product and i really do want to go to town with it just because i want like full coverage under eyes you know and i'm gonna be taking my sponge i'm using my araceli beauty bella sponge and I'm just blending out this concealer. If you guys want to see like a full blown review on this concealer, I will link it down below. I did review it um, in case maybe you haven't seen it yet. And you know, me talking about it right now made you kind of curious to see what this is about. Then you can definitely check that out. It just gives such beautiful coverage right away. Okay, so now I'm going to take another sponge that I like to use for powder and I'm just going to take some powder and I'm gonna press it in those areas and I'm just applying it all over this area just so that I can really kind of press it into where I want the product. Right away, it feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy whatsoever. You guys can just see like, right when you press it in, it already gives you like that smooth effect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush and I'm just going to brush it off and you guys can see that it just gives a very nice smooth appearance to the under eyes. And like I mentioned, I do have dry under eyes. So I was just really impressed that it worked really well with my under eye area. It didn't look cakey or thick in certain areas. And I did go in with a good amount of concealer. And like I said, this does claim to give you a smooth blurred out finish um, with a soft radiant finish so you guys can see definitely look smooth and blurred out my imperfections compared to this side you guys can tell the difference i also really appreciate this color in light because i feel like it really brightened up the undry and that's one of my favorite things to do when i am doing my undry concealer and powder because i feel like it just adds more light to the face and dimension um, and then i can always go back in with bronzer's blush to kind of create more dimension but i feel like for me the dimension definitely begins with the 
powder that I use to set my under eyes because you guys can see that difference right away. And clearly I don't have very dark circles, but I definitely do have some darkness and I just feel like this instantly wakes it up and makes it look beautiful. I'm quickly gonna do the other side. You can also use a brush to apply the powder on your under eyes if you kind of want more so of that like very light powder application. I like to press it in with a sponge just because I feel like it really locks in those areas where I do have those little fine lines, which you guys can see obviously they're not as intense as maybe somebody else would consider fine lines to be intense, but I do have them. And if I don't set it with powder, they will separate and you will see like that foundation separating in between. So I really like to go in and press them because that's the area where I really wanna target, which is why you see me like really just kind of applying it in this area. Because once I'm done my makeup, that's when I go in with the loose powder and just set all my face to really lock everything into place and give me that very perfected finish. So I'm just gonna take the brush and I don't like to leave the powder on for too long, probably just about like no more than 30 seconds, you know? Um, I just like to have enough for me to like lock it into place so that it doesn't go anywhere and you guys can see how lovely that looks. I did go ahead and do a little bit more full coverage on this side with the powder and the concealer than this side. This was kind of a more so natural finish and natural effect because I kind of wanted to see the difference between using a lot more and not using as much. And I definitely feel like it looks really nice, smooth both sides if you want to go more so for a natural finish or more so for like a full coverage finish. I'm gonna quickly finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back on camera and show you guys how I set the powder all over the face um, to give me that really perfected blurred out finish because that's one of the main reasons why I love powder is because it really can blur everything out and make it look so flawless. So we're gonna put that to the test next. Hey guys, so I finished my entire face of makeup. I will have all the details listed down below in my description box so that you guys can go ahead and check out those items. But now we're gonna go ahead and set the face because we've officially completed the rest of the makeup and we're gonna see what this Rare Beauty powder is about. So far the under eyes look so nice. They do not look dry whatsoever. It has been about 25 to 30 minutes since I last sat down and saw you guys and applied this and I really love how it's looking. It looks healthy. It doesn't look like a bunch of product right on the under eyes. So now let's go ahead and apply this powder all over the face and see how it does. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking the same sponge that I used and I'm going to be taking the powder and I'm just gonna be setting. I like to use a sponge to set all over the face just because I feel like it really presses the product in. Um, it also really does a good job of making it look like my skin is poreless, which you guys can see right here. Like this is literally one of my favorite steps to do, especially if you want to remove any of that radiance. I feel like this really, really does the trick for me. Look at that. Like look at the difference between this side right here, just looks so nice and flawless to this side where you guys can see more so of the imperfections, enlarged pores, all of that good stuff. It doesn't look extremely matte where you can definitely tell you have on a lot of makeup, but it doesn't look like, oh my gosh, you know, like it just looks just right. It still looks like your skin, but like super nice and like perfected, like almost like you have a filter. Perfected skin with the Rare Beauty powder to having nothing on here. You guys can see more so of the imperfections. I literally love that. And you can honestly even also use this to retouch your makeup through the day just because it does such a good job of absorbing any of those oils, especially if you do have oily skin, you will like this powder. So the last thing we're gonna go ahead and do is take a flash picture because I wanna see how this does with flash. You guys know that's like one of the biggest things to see if it's gonna give us bad flash or not. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, 
so I am looking at the powder right now and I don't think the flash is that bad honestly I would say one thing I have noticed with powders and flash is that if you don't want your face to look bright or your under eyes to look bright definitely go more so for the shade that you feel like would match your skin tone um, but if you do like that brightening effect then definitely go in with something like how I did with light I don't think there is much flashback in this picture I think it looks really healthy and nice but my face does have like a brightened effect which is something that I appreciate I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but I wanted to show you guys how it would look if you do have on the powder and you do have on flash so right now it is 11 11 a.m i'm gonna go ahead and carry on with the rest of my day i'll see you guys later i'll also do my in natural lighting clips so you guys can see how this looks with natural light um and then of course my final thoughts later in the day um i will say one thing that i forgot to mention that you guys may be wondering is maybe why i didn't pick up the contour sticks i did look at them i did swatch them in store but they look way too orange like there was no way it was gonna work out for me i like a neutral tone because i feel like with my skin type i've noticed things tend to oxidize super orange if they already are kind of like on that orangey side um and i just knew that if i got it it just was not gonna work out for me so i decided to opt out of those the formula looks really nice but the colors just are not it they are way too orange red um so i was like let me go ahead and just get something that i will actually get use out of i love a good powder so i was excited to try this out but this so far looks really really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and carry on with the rest of my day i'll see you guys later for my final thoughts keep watching okay guys so this is the face in natural lighting with a powder i honestly think it looks beautiful like it really looks beautiful it looks so nice smooth it has like a healthy finish where it's not like completely matte like i mentioned earlier i feel like now in natural light you can see it even better it just really looks like a very pretty skin so i'm gonna carry on with the rest of my day and i'll see you guys later. i am back right now it is 11 30 p.m so i've been wearing this powder for the entire day and i have to say i really love how this looks even till the end of the day it honestly held up so well through the day i kept looking at it and i was like oh my gosh this still looks so good like it really set my makeup in place so well and it really gave me a beautiful like airbrush effect that i just i'm obsessed with and i just love the fact that this is also talc free especially like i mentioned earlier for those of you guys who prefer talc free this is a great option and even now like it's 11 30 i'm about to take it off because i'm about to go to bed but if you really wanted to carry it on through the night you always take some more of this powder and just set it on your face to kind of see how it does i would just take a brush for this and just kind of feather it away just because it is later in the day you guys can see like even with applying it with a brush at the end of the day to not give you a really intense makeup -y look but to give you like a softer matte finish with a brush at the end of the day if you want to go back in and keep wearing this makeup for like a few more hours at night it works like it really really does work so i am obsessed with this like i said i definitely do think this is worth your 22 dollars so those are pretty much all my thoughts if you guys enjoy watching this video please give it a big thumbs up it lets me know to continue doing these type of videos for you guys if you guys have tried the new rare beauty powders let me know down below your thoughts have you purchased them will you be purchasing them i want to know all the tea um so i think that's all i have for you guys don't forget to stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful and i'll be seeing you guys very very soon for a brand new video Bye, guys.